Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I appreciate all of you. So when I went live on Saturday, I didn't get a chance to answer all of the questions you had sent me, but I thought I would now come back and answer some more because there were so many. And as I was reading them, there's so many good ones. So, you know, I think it deserves, um, a lot of them deserve for me to take a good look at. I'm going to end this video with a four card poll with a yes, no type question. So if you have a yes, no type question, some different outcomes, okay? We'll, we'll look at that. And I saw once again, somebody was impersonating me um, with giving readings. If you want a reading from me, I will never ever solicit you. You go to my website, dianaquarius.com. That's the only way to get a reading. So if somebody puts something into the comments, it's not me. Um, and I will be offering angel healings um, on my website under my list of services. Um, I'll do one for, and I have like, a, like do like an angel reading with an angel healing, um, one for people and do one for pets. So stay tuned for that also, okay? So let's go back into the questions. I have my laptop here. So Lauren asked, and I was going to answer this during the live, but it was a lengthy um, question. I didn't have time. So she was wanting to know, because so many states are introducing these bills that are banning books and not allowing people to talk about race and gender. And, you know, she was like, what's going on with that? And, um, I don't think it's going to last forever. First of all, Lauren, I don't. I think, unfortunately, this is a phase that we're going through. It's a nasty phase. Um, it's one that is deliberate. You know, this isn't an accident, but it's one that we have to go through for whatever reason. You know, the universe is saying, okay, the U.S. needs to go through this. We have to go through these growing pains, you know, once again, because we've already done this before. But, you know, banning books like The Diary of Anne Frank, I think, is um, criminal and dangerous. Absolutely dangerous. And if you ever want to check out a good YouTube channel, the Anne Frank House has their own YouTube channel. And they have done, like, reproductions of, uh, like, like videos of what she actually went through and her sister Margot and... Um, talking about what their final days actually were because they've been able to now piece together uh, because obviously she didn't have the diary for that part um, how her and Margot passed and all that so if, you know if you want to see that there the Anne Frank house has a, 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 an amazing uh, YouTube channel but I think you know we can't forget these things right because we don't want to repeat that's for sure okay So look, more temperate times ahead. You know, here we have this beautiful angelic figure, you know, um, talking about peace and calm, balance and harmony. So things are going to get better. We're not going to be in this turmoil forever. At the most, at the most, I see until 2024 for a lot of this nonsense, at the most, okay? But look at what the obstacle is. Right now we're stuck. We're stuck. We get the hanged man. We're stuck in this energy. And, but also too, like the hanged man, right? His leg is free. He can let go. So this is sort of self-imposed, right? Um, not by people like us, but those who are trying to control everything. Um, you know, it's it's so frustrating, isn't it? But look at the next card, drastic change, drastic change and receiving good news. So things are getting better, more passion, more fire, more enthusiasm, more excitement. So like people being more energetic and like saying, okay, this is what we actually do want as a society, because I don't think the majority of us want this. Not at all, not at all. But look, more balanced time. So now we get two cards that talk about balance. Can you see the scales of balance here? So it's it's not going to last forever, Lauren, and everyone else that's concerned about this. 
It's just a miserable phase that we have to get through. But you know what? We're strong people. And we can also do education with our children at home, can't we? You know, I know my mother was an avid reader and she taught me to read. You know, one of my greatest joys growing up was going to our library. It was this big old fashioned library with the, the wooden paneled walls and the stained glass windows. I, I, you know, it was just one of the greatest joys that I had. And so, um, and then also too, my sister, she worked in the city. She was always buying me books, bringing them home. You know what, let's keep doing things like this. Okay. And now, nowadays we can look at, look at things online even, right? So let's keep educating our children how we see fit, not how politicians and the far right deem them, you know, fit to learn. I don't, I don't like that at all. Um, Barry asked a question and I'm going to answer it because I haven't looked at SCOTUS as a whole. So we looked, uh, gosh, I mean, we've been looking at, you know, Brett, we've been looking at uh, Clarence, we've been looking at Amy, but we really haven't looked at them as a whole. And he was asking, you know, if there's anything going on with SCOTUS, they've been relatively quiet with all the other drama happening, anything coming up that we need to know. So I thought, let's look at them as a whole body because we haven't done that really, um, not on my channel anyways. I've been looking at them as individuals. So what do we need to know, Spirit, about this? What do we need to know? Their energy just, mm, I don't like it. So I'm starting to like just shuffle the cards, just dive into their energy and it's like, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. Even though obviously there's good people on there, it just, I feel, I'm feeling the, the negative, the darkness. Almost like I'm tapping into something that somebody doesn't want me to. It's almost like making me emotional. It doesn't feel good. First card I get, I think there's a lot of infighting. I think if we could just be a fly on the wall and see what really goes on, because when they pose for pictures or when you see them in videos, they're all smiling and chummy chummy and everything's wonderful. I don't get that feeling in the least. I really don't. I think there's a lot of battles and fights. And look at this. Okay, look at the next card. I mean, the card of bickering, fighting, having different, they all have different colored tunics because that represents their different values, their different beliefs, different morals. They're, they're, they're not the same people, right? They're very different in their ideations. <laughs> and how appropriate the judgment card for the Supreme Court. So they do have some tough decisions coming up um, that they're going to be held accountable for. And I think they're going to be held accountable, particularly, you know, with these elections coming up. Um, you know, this really didn't do the Republican Party any favors the way that they've been voting. So the decisions that they're making, the judgments that they're making is hurting the party that basically put most of them there. So that is a problem. There is a lot that we still don't know. Here's the moon card. You don't see clearly in moonlight. There's darkness to this. And that's what I was picking up on. I was picking up on the darkness. And um, let me just ask Spirit, because I feel like there's more to this. My guide is saying, oh, you don't know the half of it. So there's more for us to learn. And then here is a card that a lot of people use to represent the GOP, right? Big money, big corporation money. Um, not what you'd want to see. You don't want to see anything to do with money when it comes to SCOTUS, right? They're supposed to be beyond that. But then again, too, they don't even have a code of ethics. So here we are. Um, mm. All right, let me just scroll down a little bit.
Bryn asks, will the Omicron booster be helpful? Well, my answer is yes and no. Will it be helpful for Omicron? Sure. Does it keep mutating? Yes. So, I mean, I guess it's sort of like, how do you look at it? We'll see what the cards have to say. Um, you know, it is a virus. It does keep doing its thing. And heaven knows it's a strong virus, isn't it? It's not giving up in any which way. Okay, let's see. So this is actually a really nice card. This this actually is um, a positive card, right? You know, like we talk about, like in my tarot class, like some cards are generally positive, some are generally negative. This is a generally positive card. It talks about abundance, fertility, motherhood, you know, good things. Also one of my cards for the US. However, I think we have this unknown factor and that is it's gonna just keep mutating. So will it work? Yes, but will it work for every new virus that pops up? I would doubt it because nothing ever does, right? So not to be negative, but I think it'll work in a lot of ways. Um, and I think if you're inclined to get it, then you should. But I don't think it's going to be the end all and be all either, you know, because it is going to mutate. But we also know too that it is slowing down deaths, right? From the, you know, the other vaccines were slowing down deaths. So, you know, really important. Um, Good things to come you know, like new opportunities and this could create a new beginning so that's really nice um so like one where we start to manifest those things that we want and you know the good things in life so um so i hope that answers your question i mean i, I know it's a little vague because i'm like well yes and no but um, the cards were mostly positive, but we do get this guy showing up that, yeah, it's, there's still unknown factors that's going to pop up. But if it can help, you know, help reduce the amount of hospitalizations and deaths, then, then that's important. Marie asks, and I saw not just Marie, but several of you asked how um, Derek Chauvin is doing now that he's in prison. Um, since the, the African-American security guards recently won their lawsuit for not being able to guard him and him getting special privileges. So how is he doing? I don't think he's doing great, to be honest with you. Um, special privileges or no. Um, I don't think he's doing fantastic. Let's put it that way. So what do we need to know, Spirit, about Derek? What do we need to know? Okay. So right now, his strength is being tested. His strength, his courage his fortitude, his perseverance. I don't think he's in a good way. I really, really don't. Um, his obstacle is, see, this is what I mean. Like, I know they're saying one thing about him, but I don't know. That's not the feeling I get. Um, but also too, humans are all complicated creatures, aren't we? So even though he may be getting special privileges or something, it's nowhere near what he wants, right? Um, and rightfully so. I mean, look at what he did. So his obstacle is that things are not as predictable, as reliable, as steadfast, as grounded, as down to earth as he wants. He's feeling like things are chaotic. Things are a mess. He doesn't know what's going to happen one minute from the next. So that tells us there's more going on. And he had such a good run of getting away with things, right? You know, he was like our little Russian friend here, stealing five of the seven swords. You know, he got away with quite a bit, but justice came. Justice came. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. So I don't think he's in a good way at all. I don't.
Oh, I like this. Annie asks, can we influence climate change by raising our vibration, by invoking more positive outcomes for our beautiful planet? Absolutely. Yes. Because just remember, everything that we go through as humans, as animals, as plants, trees, you know, our planet itself goes through too. Um, we're all interconnected, right? That's why I teach the law of one. We are all one. We're all connected. And so what we do impacts the trees, impact, impacts the water, the air, everything. So yes, the higher we keep our vibrations, the, the better things are for our fellow man, for animals, for plant life, for the earth itself. So yes, Annie, I like that question. Um, Mel asks, will Biden run in 2024? Yes. If so, will Kamala be his running mate? I believe so. Oh, we can check, but I believe so. Or will she be appointed Supreme Court Justice? I wasn't getting those vibes, I'll be honest. But let, let's ask, will Kamala be his running mate? I feel like yes, I really do. Yeah, okay, first of all, here's the card of um, one of my cards for the US. It's a card of wishes and dreams and hopes coming true and balance and harmony. And yeah, I, I really do think so. Um, her obstacle may be a bit like exercising judgment, like, oh gosh, do I wanna do like this again? And, um, but I think ultimately she will and then, <laughs> Here's the Biden card. So yeah, I, I, I do think so. I, I do think so, yes. Um, good question though. So let's finish this up with a yes, no. So ask yourself, you know, to yourself, a yes, no question. And I have four cards here that I'm gonna do my best to really separate. You know, is this the right time to, should I do, should I go there? Will I do, you know, that kind of stuff. So yes or no, take a deep breath, center yourself and see which card calls to you. One, two, three, four. So spirit guides, guide everyone to pick the correct card for them. Here we go. First card, nice and simple. Yes, yes. Second card, unlikely. Not a firm no, just unlikely. So if you want it to happen, you're gonna have to really push your energies that way. Third card, mm -mm, it's a no card. And then fourth card, choose a new direction. There's something better for you elsewhere, okay? All right, everyone, it was a pleasure. Please, if you haven't already, hit the like button because it helps my algorithm so other people see these videos. And I will see everyone in a few days. Bye, everyone.